next item that we're going to do is going to be hot pack or hot hydroculator application. This is again a, a hot therapy or thermotherapy. Uh, works great for uh, muscular injuries, muscular tenderness injuries, especially um, chronic ones. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, they don't have any contraindications. In this case, it would be a, an acute injury uh, and others. Uh, you want to, uh, in this case, we're doing a, a chronic uh, quadriceps strain. So we want to inspect the area to make sure that the uh, hydroculator is the modality of choice. Uh, get the chart ready, get a timer. Um, we're going to get two, two towels. We're going to show two, two methods using towels as well as the terry cloth. And a hydroculator, hot hydroculator unit is um, over, over here. And there's four standard hydroculator units in this one. They also make hydroculator packs, hot packs for uh, the cervical, which is a little bit longer. They also make some for, that are uh, more d double the size of the standard for uh, back um, or larger body parts, body, body areas. So once we figured out um, that this is the treatment that you want to do, and again, I'll, I'll show the, the terry cloth method first. And so once we have our dry terry cloth ready, Uh, again, uh, on the hydroculator that has the tabs on the top, you always want to make sure that those are up. We can get, grab the tongs and lift the, the hot. This water is uh, one, about 160 degrees. So you want to drip the excess water off. And then put it on the terry cloth. Close the lid to keep the other one, hydroculators hot. And this uh, terry cloth, you open it up, and it has Velcro on the inside, so make sure that faces the inside. Um, also make sure that you know, your pack is kind of in the center. Um, we also want to grab an extra towel, um, a third towel to put, put over the top. So you always want to make sure that you place the hydro hot hydroculator on top of the body part. Um, in some cases, that might be too hot, so you might need to wrap it in around a towel first, and then you can always remove it later. But you also want to make sure you have a towel to put over the top of it to help trap, excuse me, help trap the the water, the water in, or the the heat over the hot pack. Um, you can set your timer. Um, for uh, 20 minutes is going to be a 20 minute treatment um, and just leave that on there. The, the next technique that I was going to show you was um, using the two towel technique and for this technique we're going to have our two towels and we're going to fold them lengthwise and crisscross them in the center So this will go horizontal. And the hot pack for this, again, grabbing it out of, out of the unit, uh, this would go on the middle of the, the square. And then we would just turn one end up, next one, just keep flipping those over until it's all covered. Now you have your hot pack covered and again have a have an extra towel to um, lay over the top of this um, you can also have extra towels if you need to drape the patient if it happens to be a you know if you need to cover an area any private areas or high shorts or, or other, th and other embarrassing areas and again set the timer a uh, couple of things that you need to be careful with with the hot hydroculator is that you always want to make sure that the hot pack goes on top of the body part. You don't want the body weight um, to be um, put on top of it. So we wouldn't want her to um, lie in a prone position on her stomach with the leg on top. 
Uh, we also want to make sure that she was, uh, she didn't lean against it. Uh, say if it were on the shoulder and she had the hot pack and she was leaning against the wall, that too would cause uh, burns. If the hot pack gets um, um, hot, it's too hot, um, again, you can uh, add more uh, layers of towel in between there. Likewise, if it um, gets cool, um, then you can uh, remove layers um, as, you, uh, as you see fit. So, to make it a little bit cooler for the patient. So, after the 20 minutes, want to make sure that we take the hot pack off. And it should be a, a little bit cooler. Um, note that there's two, two tabs. There's green t uh, brown tabs and white tabs. You always want to make sure that those are facing up in the hydroculator unit. And again, there's some, some departments or uh, facilities that have a rotating system. So if they're all brown and if you put a used one back in there, you may want to flip it up to make it white so that you know that that's a new one. Because it usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes for that to uh, without use to, to reheat. Uh, so again, it's very important that the tabs go up. Um, you can also check the temperature if you needed to for this unit to make sure that it were 160 degrees. Another thing is you always want to make sure that the hot packs, hot hydroculator packs are completely covered with water. So if you need to fill it um, with water um, you know, before, uh, at the end of the day or regularly, um, you can do that as well. With your towels, you want to make sure that you put those in the laundry. Um, with your terry cloth um, covers, you can hang this up to, to dry, um, as well as you can wash these as well. Um, you always want to make sure that you record the treatment, find out when you're set up the next appointment, and, uh, and check the area to see if there were any you know, signs of symptoms for uh, any type of dis changes. And that's it for the hot pack.